No, won't do that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be running through and explaining the situation and why I ended up not racing Challenge Pagera. Um, I've had a lot of messages from people asking, you know, what went wrong, what happened, um, and a lot of support from people. So initially off the bat, I just want to say thanks so much to everyone who has message with support regardless of whether you know what's going on or what's not going on uh whether that makes sense or not um there's been a lot of support out there and a lot of people that have been um, really encouraging and just yeah just sending some really nice things so i really really do appreciate it it means a lot to me um yeah because it, it was it was a bit of a bitter pill to swallow um but yeah yeah, it was always going to be a bit of a gamble, this race. So essentially, I'll probably just start from... Yeah, I don't even know how this video is going to go, but basically, I'll start from the beginning. Um, as you guys may well know, I raced Ironman Wales, and I had to pull out because I had really, really bad stomach pains. I woke up with really bad stomach pains, decided to race the race, and give it a go and had to pull out on the run because it was just absolute agony. If you haven't seen that video, click that up above somewhere. James will put that in somewhere, fingers crossed. <laughs> Otherwise it made me look like a mug. Um, and from there, I continued to have bad stomach pains. Now, coming off that race, I just thought it was like, a, you know, an upset stomach or, or you know, a, a stomach bug. So I was just assuming that I'd give it some time and it would be absolutely fine. So I was trying to stay really, really positive. All of this was going on in the background. Um, so when, I, when I've been making videos and I've been doing training, I've been trying to come across really positive and not not show you guys that I'm suffering. I was really suffering in silence. Like it, it sounds almost like, sounds a bit pathetic, um, but it affected me heavily. Like Lydia can back me up on this, like um, just my mood and my general just being day-to-day um, -day life training it really really struggled with training and um and anyway i assumed after a week a few weeks it will be absolutely fine the issue is i tried to stay positive and tried i didn't think it, it, there was there was much need to um go and see the doctor for example i was like it'll be fine it'll ease off as long as i you know keep things controlled and i look after myself um, it will be fine. The issue is those positive days turned into weeks, turned into literally like a month <laughs> and turned into literally the week before Challenge Bagheera and I was like, ah, I'm still struggling. This isn't a good idea. Now for that whole month, it wasn't like I was doing nothing um, to kind of uh, right this wrong. Basically, I was looking at different things. So uh, regards to nutrition, I was thinking about different intolerances. I was uh, taking out different things, I was adding things into my diet, making sure that I was giving myself the best possible chance of recovering. Um, I was also having um, probiotics, some really, really good probiotics to introduce some good bacteria into the gut. Nothing seemed to really help that much. It definitely eased off from Tembi, but it definitely wasn't right. So I struggled in training. I, I kept training, like, and I kept training pretty hard. Um, but it was uncomfortable all day, every day. And uh, swimming and cycling was all right because it was relatively stationary, especially on the bike. It was fine. It, it wasn't fine on the bike. I could feel it, but it wasn't agony. In the swim, it was okay. Um, but running was the real problem. I've pretty much had a month of struggling to run completely, like even just easy runs. Like my max runs have probably been 45 minutes and from about 15 minutes onwards, that's when the pain really kicks in and it just hurts so much. I've not been able to complete any run sessions whatsoever. The reason why I came to Challenge Pagera is because I assumed before 10 I was like, you know, this would be a good race to finish the season on. Um, and I'd already booked travel accommodation, not just for me, but also for James as well. Now, if it was just me coming, I probably would have canceled the trip the week leading up to the race. Um, but because I'd have, you know, I booked James to come out here and to film for me and to do all this content, we had some really cool ideas and I was super excited about it. I just stupidly, I mean, in hindsight, I should have probably binned off the trip. However, we're still going to get some really good content, so it's actually still going to be a beneficial trip uh, when you look at it like that. 
But yeah, I was just trying to stay really positive, and I thought that, you know what, it could all come good on race day, and I could get through it, and this is what's the annoying thing, is that I'm, I'm in really good shape, and I know that if I was on good form, I would have been competitive with the guys at the front. Now, that's so easy for me to say now, and you might be watching this thinking, oh, shut up, Harry, like, you, you've no idea. And the tr truth be told, I have no idea. However, I do feel like I'm in really good shape, and it's gutting to not be able to race and to be able to show my performance. Um, and so I basically, yeah, I, I came here and I was hoping that it would be okay on the day. A few days before the race, things are feeling okay, but really, like, it's just, I wasn't in a position to race. Um, and ultimately, even just doing an easy run the day before race day didn't feel good. And yeah, was not ideal. So I've looked back at things. Um, I've had a few ideas of what the stomach problem is ultimately I think it's E. coli um, and I've known a few people that have struggled with this post Tembi so I think the problem was I went for a practice swim on Friday ahead of Ironman Wales on the Sunday on that Friday I'm pretty sure I've heard there was a sewage spill nearby so I think I've ingested something not so good something rather disgusting and I've woken up on the Sunday with E. coli, and that's why I had to pull out of Tembi, and that whole month leading up to today, I've been struggling with that. Now, I would have hoped that I would have been able to battle that by now, but it's still lingering and it's still affecting me, and I'm still not really able to run at all, to be honest. So it's very much frustrating position to be in. Um, so when I'm back from Pagera, from Mallorca, I'm going to be going to see a GP and seeing if there's stuff, something that can be done about this because it's gone on for too long now. I've been hopeful for a long period of time and some of you might be sat there thinking, oh Harry, you're an idiot, you should have gone to the hospital straight away. I was wishful thinking and I was thinking that it will be fine, it will just blow, it'll blow over and my positivity led to me not doing anything about it and it's really been affecting me, it's definitely been affecting me mentally. Um, and it's not been, yeah, it's not been ideal. Um, and what really sucks is that we're obviously late on in the season now. There's not really many other chances to race. As I've mentioned, Ironman Arizona would be really cool. If I've still got this issue, <laughs> I won't be racing, that's for sure. Um, so whether I race again this year or not, it's up in the air. Chances are I probably wouldn't, won't race. And that's what's really gutting is that I feel like I could have had a really good finish to the season and I and I blew it basically absolutely blew it uh, so yeah it's it's not ideal um, and this is what kind of upsets me a little bit about this season is yes it's been a really good season and it's been a confidence inducing season and it has been a somewhat breakthrough season but I've not had a result yet that I feel shows where I'm at Yes, I've had good results this season, and it's definitely brought me on. However, I still feel there's so much there, and I still feel like I'm literally just scratching the surface. And I know I say that a lot, but but I, I feel like I've got so much here to prove, and I just haven't quite had that race. I haven't looked back at a race and gone, that was everything I could have done. Like, that was, that was all of me. That was the best performance I, I could have given on the day. That was the best performance. That's where I'm at right now. I haven't had that yet, and I was hoping that this race would be that but yeah like I said is what it is um, and sometimes you got to take these things on the chin and um, you know yeah life throws curveballs at us doesn't it but it's just it is frustrating um, so whether I race again later this year or not I'm in two minds about it to be honest my my priority has got to be getting myself sorted and getting my stomach settled um, so whether I've got E. coli or not, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure I do, but <laughs> I'm not a doctor, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Yeah, it could, it could be anything, but that's, that's my priority. Um, and the secondary thing will be thinking about whether I race again this year or not. I probably won't, but um, it would be really nice to finish off the season in a positive way, rather than uh, not only a DNF from Wales, but a DNS from Challenge Bagheera. It's not exactly the nicest way to finish the season. But um, yeah, so that's that's what's happened. I hope that sort of explains everything. Um, and 
Again, I just want to say massive thanks to everyone out there here who's supporting. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I just feel like, uh, yeah. I know people say you shouldn't feel this way, but I do feel like I'm letting a lot of people down. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh. Anyway, James and I are out here for the next few days. We're gonna be doing some really good content um, and enjoying the sun, so I can't be too much too down in the dumps because uh, we're in a lovely place. Gotta enjoy life, and uh, so there we are. That's that. Hopefully that explains everything. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, drop them in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now, and uh, what the next few months holds, I'm not too sure but I'll be keeping you up to date as we go forward. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for the next video and I'll see you then.